Hi, this is Piotr Valdzysza, Adobe Creative Cloud Evangelist. Uh, so today I want to show you how the collaboration of a designer and a customer may look like using Adobe Creative Cloud. Uh, so in order to do that, I recorded this short little scene uh, that will make it more clear, maybe. All right, so let's imagine I'm a customer. I want to hire this local company called uh, Piotr's Designs uh, to uh, this first design my new blog uh, website and later on actually to build it um, they claim to be a very good company they they are on cutting edge they said they are using adobe creative cloud so let's learn you know what it actually means for me as a customer and also for them as um, as the company that is doing the work so let's take a look at piot the designer actually you can see him in this funny beanie uh, there working on my design. So let's take a look, sneak peek at his desktop, what he's doing and how he can actually share that, you know, design that he's working on with me as a customer. So if you go inside and see his desktop, you can see he's actually right now working and doing the finishing touches of, um, of my design in Photoshop. This is his, you know, typical uh, tool at this point uh, to use uh, to design the website. So he can, you know, actually save it. And when he saves it, he saves it to a folder which is linked with his Adobe Creative Cloud membership, which gives him, first of all, uh, this uh, online storage of 20 gigs that he can share with uh, his designs with me or with his colleagues. And also, it, you know, Adobe Creative Cloud membership gives him a full access to Photoshop, Illustrator, or any other tools you know that you can imagine from Adobe, the creative tools uh, from Adobe, and those are not running in a cloud as it may sound, but these are tools that are running on a desktop. These are the desktop versions of you know Photoshop, Illustrator, and so on, and he gets that all uh, through his membership, full membership in Creative Cloud. So, uh, so. He has Photoshop installed, uh, other tools as well, but also he has this Adobe Creative Cloud connection tool installed, which actually links his uh, online storage with the local storage. So if I go here, he created this folder out of me for the project that he's doing with me for my out of me blog. And he can see here, hey, we have a PSD file with the design of my website and also an illustrated file, uh, illustrated file with my uh, logo of my uh, of my blog. So he see here, he, it goes there. Now, if he wants to share those two files with me, he can right click here, go to Adobe Creative Cl uh, Cloud uh, and share. Uh, so it opens up a browser with his account already logged in and, and uh, allows him to, first of all, uh, um, share here and put my email address. So Piotr out of me here and allow comments. This is not ready yet for production. So he doesn't allow me to, uh, to do the download, send email, or he could actually go in here, just copy the link and send it through, through his favorite email client, but he can do it directly from here. So let's copy that and send the email. So email was sent successfully. He can go in actually through the website again and he can check the logo AI here, send the link, repeat the process, allow, or in this case he can allow download because it's ready from, for prime time and send the email. All right, so that's what uh, Piotr as a designer is doing. Now, me, I, what I do, uh, I'm actually, let's say on the road, um, I don't, I don't sit behind my desk right now. And I have only, I happen to have my, only my iPad with me. So how can I check the design without actually having access to Photoshop if I, I, I may not even have. So let's take a look actually on my, um, on my iPad. So. I already, you know, received two emails right now, and you can see those here. So let's take a, a sneak peek, you know, on the link that he sent me through the first email. So it goes to my website. It actually goes to a Creative Cloud website and shows me the design. Oh, there we go. So we have a design here. I can see. Okay, I like it. I can even switch to this, you know, layer stuff, which I can see all the Photoshop layers that were created for this design, and I can play around with this. So you can imagine, you know, there was like a, a, a alternative version of a green website there we go we have a green so I could turn off you know this blue layer but you know I happen to like more the blue design so I can go back into the comments put my comments all right I like you know like blue more 
put my email, send it back to the uh, to designer, and he knows that he can work further on, on the blue design instead of the green one. All right, so you can see that that was very easy, very quick of way of sharing. And you know, the, the other cool thing, you know, my mailbox that wasn't, you know, polluted with some huge image files, anything like this, I just got the simple link. And whenever the designer updates the design and saves it back into this folder, the design, the, you know, the design I see through this, you know, link I got, it will be automatically refreshed. So I can, you know, go back and see uh, the progress as well. So that was very quick and and I, th I hope cool introduction into uh, into Creative Cloud and sharing options. And well, stay tuned for the second episode where I will show you a workflow between the designer and his colleague, uh, Piotr, the developer, where they can exchange the assets for uh, you know for, for my website, and the developer will be building my website further on as well. All right, so thank you very much, and stay tuned for for more. Bye.